Welcome back to Andy's Guides. In today's video, we are going to show you how to add table in Lucid Chart. Let's begin. Now, the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials. If this is your first time here with Lucid Chart, I need you to click the sign up option. And from here, just follow the on screen instructions and you're good to go. Adding a table in Lucid Chart is a straightforward process that can significantly enhance the organization, clarity, and effectiveness of your diagrams and presentations. Now, the first thing that you need to do is to hover to the editing tools on the left side panel of your dashboard, and I want you to go to the Shapes panels. Now, here, you just have to look for the table, all right? But for us to be able to put a table we have to enable the table option first and by doing so is clicking on the more ships option i want you to type in tables you see because tables aren't enabled yet we can't see the option for tables all right now there are so many tables available here at lucid chart they have their tables and chairs tables pre-built smart table for example this one let's look around them each one now you can lay out floor plans for homes, office and buildings, create and manage your space with standard shapes and specialized ones like office chairs. You can also go to the tables pre-built. Now the thing with a smart table are automatically fill your data into cells, helping you organize your data in a way that enables actionable insights. Now tables on the other hand can organize your data with tables using advanced feature to copy and paste data from Excel and Google Spreadsheets. Now, if you use this one, just click on the use selected uh, shapes. All right. You have to enable that first, you see? When I click that, the tables option is already added on the left side panel. You see that? I want you to click the use selected shapes. What will happen you have an option here to click the tables and of course tables are ideal for comparing different data points for example let's maximize this one so we can compare or categorize side by side now it gives you a better analysis and decision making because you are allowed to track changes or variations over time making trends easier to spot and analyze so after doing so, you can put in as much as tables as you can in this uh, section right here. Now, readers can quickly grasp the relationship between data points. If you put so much option here, you see that one. There's a lot that you can work with the uh, data because they serve as a reference point for specific data during discussions or presentations. Let me tell you that a well-designed table adds a level of, of professionalism. As you can see, diagrams and presentations making them look more polished and organized. You see that one? Add it here. Now using tables help standardize the presentation. And of course, especially in reports and workflows. Right here. See that? Or even project plans. And that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. And these guys, if you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And do not forget to hit that subscribe button to stay updated with all the latest content. I'll see you in the next guide.